Do you think all tunnels are built using tunnel boring machines? In fact, before TBMs were invented, people relied on the drill and blast method to excavate tunnels. First, a trench cutter is used to slice a groove into the mountain. The rotating gears at its base spin at high speed, cutting a long, narrow slot through the rock. Concrete is then poured into the groove, layer by layer, until a continuous underground wall is formed. This provides a stable structure for the upcoming blasting work. Next, excavators clear away loose soil until the solid bedrock is exposed. At this stage, drilling rigs move in to bore multiple blast holes into the rock face. Before detonation, workers cover the area with protective shields and add a layer of soil to absorb the shock and ensure safety. Once everything is ready, the drilled holes are arranged in precise patterns. The blasting system is connected and triggered in sequence, breaking up the rock ahead. Right after the blast, heavy machinery moves in to remove debris and make room for the next round of excavation. The tunnel advances step by step using using the bench excavation method, where each layer is dug and supported in stages to keep the structure stable. As the tunnel nears the exit, excavation proceeds from both ends simultaneously. When the two sides meet, the passage is fully connected. Finally, crews complete the inner lining, waterproofing, lighting, and ventilation systems. When all the finishing work is done, the tunnel stands solid and secure, ready to open for use.